What's happening guys? I'm back and I'm gonna cook today. So, went to the store. Uh, they didn't have much meat, but they had ribs, baby back ribs. And I wanted to show you guys how I cook my baby back ribs. It's a secret recipe, but it's about not to be secret. So, we got the bush beer. I didn't go with the Corona beer. Went with the bush beer. First thing you do here, you take about 12 cans of whatever beer you want and you put it in a pot. Now as I'm doing this, I'll show you what I got going on right here. We got it. I'm gonna have some baked beans with it. This is like pan sausage, but it's homemade pork. But it's just like the pan sausage you buy. You can do that. Uh, this is gonna go with it. Unfortunately, we couldn't find any canned goods, so I had to go with the big can. We would usually go with this, I wouldn't recommend you going this big of beans, but it was the only bean I can find. <laughs> so that's what we're going with. So while we're waiting for this to boil, I'm gonna put all the beer in here. While we're waiting for that to boil, I'm gonna work on the beans. Like I said, this is pan sausage. Uh, red bell pepper and onions okay I'm gonna do that but I'm gonna take some juice out how much you want to put in there all right there okay we've got the beans in there then we want to put ketchup about half a cup Okay, I don't like ketchup at all, but I don't mind it in my baked beans. A compact half a cup of brown sugar, that gives it its flavor for sure. So what we do with the beer is we're gonna boil the ribs for about an hour and 15 minutes. I've been doing this for years. So believe me when I say an hour and 15 minutes. You let it come to a boil first. Now, you're not gonna have, for all these ribs, I'm not gonna have uh, enough beer. So what I put, I just put water. Finish it off with water. All right, now, you wanna cut your ribs right in half. Okay. You want to half all of them. And if you want to see this, see how much we cook around here. This is stew. So we got ribs a bowling, beans a bacon, and stew a brewing. Uh, I go with when I, I'm going to barbecue this. So I make my own barbecue sauce, but instead of using ketchup, I use barbecue sauce. And then I put a, a bunch of other things together. So we want to take them, drop them in the boiling beer water, more beer than anything. You, this is one onion, this is going to be the barbecue sauce, homemade, and I say it's homemade but I actually put barbecue sauce in it. Uh, this is Irish uh, butter, it's pure butter, uh, believe it or not. The butter you get is probably not real butter. Put the whole thing in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna caramelize it. We're gonna caramelize the butter and the onions, which means just cook it until, until it looks all nice and, I don't know. I don't know how to explain caramelize. Right, now this is caramelized onions right here. And what you do is you put Oh, thing. It's just like if you would put ketchup or something, I just don't. It gives it a little bit more flavor. Let that sit like this. Stir it up. Let it cook in a little bit. 
a bit of brown sugar. Here's the ribs. I actually let it boil for about a minute, 17 minutes. An hour and 17 minutes, is that what I said? I said a minute and 17 minutes. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, you said a minute. <laughs> a minute and 17 I let, minutes. I let it boil for one minute and 17 <laughs> One hour and 17 minutes. So I'm gonna let this sit here for a little while. Let it cool down, and I'll show you the next step in just a little bit. All right, so this is the pit we're using. You can see we use it quite a bit. Put some charcoal in it. Oh, that ain't charcoal. We'll use this thing. It's charcoal. It's just a different style. Some black wood charcoal. Didn't know we had that, but it work. It's about to get dark out here, so we're gonna bring out some lights in a little bit. Now what I do is I leave it alone. I let the the fluid soak it, soak in that. It'll do the same with charcoal. So it's just gonna soak it all up, and then when I do light it, next time I'm gonna get it wet again, light it, and it'll stay lit. This is what's gonna freak everybody out. And I hate mustard with a passion. So I don't know how I came up with this, but I did. I washed my hands, don't worry. Soap and water for 20 seconds. And then got this. So you want to soak the, do this side, turn them over, do the other side with the mustard. This is called Tony Sassery. And you should know what it is. If you don't, then need to find out originated in Louisiana it has everything you need that is the barbecue sauce now it's soaked in pretty good I'll put one more layer on it I'm gonna put this on first because it's gonna be a big old heaping ball of fire Open it up. It. So, close it. Okay, now you can see as the coal is getting white, and that's how you want it. It's evenly all the way around. Is it a flare back up? Okay. Now, we take the ribs and we put them on one at a time. Okay. Now, since it's on there, now you put the sauce on. in here so it almost smells like candy it starts caramelizing it's, it's like a, you smell in a, in a fair or something I think this is actually my first cooking video uh, to tell you the truth my passion is cooking uh, I've been trying to get on cooking shows and I can't seem to get I got apply for them I want to cook You can see it's literally caramelizing on the meat. Ooh, it's coming right off the bone, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. There's another bone. Good signs. Oh. Sorry if I'm not that best of a filmer. They got, I don't know what they got, June bugs flying like they're rockets. Come on. <laughs> okay, this is what you got. Not too hard to take it apart. Just came off the grill. It's hot. Mmm. Down me.
them right off the bones. So if you like this, like it. You want to see more cooking videos? I do things as you guys like it. So if I get three, four thousand views, I'll do more cooking videos. Subscribe. Now Gracie gets to test it. You gotta eat it like a woman. Oh, he's all over now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's good. What do you expect? That's how a real woman eats right there. You put your hair up and you start eating. <laughs>